In this video, we will see how to define composite sections and composite section for construction stages. Sometimes people get a bit confused with the definition of composite section and their activation in construction stage. So with this video, we will clear all those doubts for you. So just like any other section definition or the definition of composite section, we need to go under the properties tab and here under the section properties, we simply click on add and here we are having the composite section option. So based upon the type of section we are having, you can choose any type of section from here. Like if you are having a steel eye type one girder like this, you can select this. And in case you are having composite section, then you can select the composite section. Then from these guide diagram, you can just provide the geometry details and accordingly you can define the section. So since this is a composite section, so the definition is of two parts like first part is for the girder which is this and then for the part two we deal with the deck that is the slab so here we give the slab details so with help of an example we will see this definition so we are having the steel girder section defined which is steel eye type 1 composite section so as I mentioned here we give the slab details so BC is the deck width which we are having as 2.5 meter then we give the thickness as 0.22 in this case and then we give the horn side as present then here we give the girder information so based upon the requirement you can provide the girder information so SW is the height of F and B1 and TF1 these are the breadth of the flange 1 and TF1 is the thickness of the flange 1 TW is the thickness of the web B2 is the breadth of the bottom flange and TF2 is the thickness of the bottom flange. So in this way we give the inputs for the section. In case we are having stiffener for a steel composite section then also we can define it from here as well. And next option is the selection of the material. So since this is a composite section so we need to select the material for the deck and girder which will be different. Based upon that the composite section properties will be calculated. So we just need to select the code. And by selecting the code, you select the material from here. Based upon the selected material, these properties like modular ratio, thermal coefficient ratio gets calculated and this will be used in the construction stage analysis. Once this is done, from here we can select the offset. So as you can see, I have selected center top offset. So this red symbol is showing the offset point. And from here we can see the calculation results. So this is the section properties before the composite action. This is after composite action. So this is just for the girder and this is for the deck plus girder. You select this, click on OK, click on close. So this was about the composite section definition. Now for the definition of composite section for construction stages, we go under this icon and here we click on add. So first we select the active stage like in which stage my part one that is the girder is activated. So in this case, in stage two my girder is activated. So I've selected that. We select the section that is steel girder and composite type then here since I mentioned that we are having two parts part 1 is for the girder part 2 is for the deck so we just simply select part 1 for as the element and part 2 as the material so here we will be selecting the material that will be activated in the construction stages so we select that and my deck will be activated under the stage 3-2 Hence, I have selected the material and I am activating that in stage 3 too. Here we can give the age. The age of the steel element will not make any significance since no time dependent properties will be linked with the steel girder, but with the concrete gate it will be linked. Hence, it is important that we provide the correct age. We click this and we click on update all edge. And the notional sizes gets calculated according to the geometry. Once this is done, then we can see under the stages as well. Like this is stage 1, substructure activated. Stage 2 only girders are present. And stage 3, 1. Stage 3, 2. So here you can see if I inactivate my dummy elements as well. So we can see our deck part 2 with this imaginary lines being activated. In stage 3 1 that are not present and stage 3 2 these are now activated 
Hence, that was the significance of choosing this stage 3 2 under the activation of the material. I hope this was clear. Now, another important thing I want to mention is that, like the properties we have defined for the composite section over here while defining the section, these are the properties that will be considered in case we are not having the construction stages defined and the composite section for construction stage is not defined. But in case you have defined the composite section for construction stage, so the properties that are calculated over here, these will be the governing properties. So this will be concluded in the analysis. So basically these properties override the properties over there. So this is the final property that you can consider for the analysis. I hope the doubts relating to these things were clear and now you can use composite section in a better way for your design.